Welcome everyone to the Getting Started in the All New BoardView webinar. From managing agile sprints to marketing campaign calendars and beyond, BoardView provides a flexible and engaging way to manage work in Smartsheet. Let's get started. My name is Electra Haldi, and I'm on the product marketing team here at Smartsheet. By the end of this session, you'll be able to understand the key features available in the all-new board view, learn how to set up, customize, and use board view in your sheets. Today, all licensed users can create and share in board view. Let's go ahead and switch over into Smartsheet, where our user is already logged in and is navigated to the example sheet in grid view. Board view is available in any sheet that has at least one single select dropdown or a single select contact list or a symbols column. Now let's go ahead and switch into board view by navigating to the layout switcher and selecting the board option. Just like that, you're now seeing board view. You'll immediately notice that this view has a more visual and engaging layout. Tasks have become cards on the board, and the board is organized into lanes. Right now, you see cards grouped by status and can easily tell which cards are not started. If you'd rather see how work is distributed across the team, you can adjust the grouping to organize tasks by the individual they're assigned to. To do that, navigate to the Group button in the toolbar and switch from the Status column to the Assigned To column. As I mentioned before, you can group cards in your view by any single select dropdown, single select contact list, or symbols column in your sheet. Next, let's go ahead and take a closer look at how to update and edit your information in board view. Each individual task is represented as a card. If I'm reviewing how tasks are allocated across the team, I can first scroll through an individual lane to find the card I need. And then, if I want to move a task from one person's queue to another person's, I can click on the card and drag and drop it to a different lane. I can also make changes to a card's information quickly and easily, or add comments, by double-clicking on any card and to open its details panel. Here, I can make any necessary changes I need. As you make edits, all your changes are saved automatically, and any edits you or your peers make will appear for everyone else viewing the sheet in real time. I can also add attachments and conversations by clicking on the icons at the bottom of the card. You can also access all attachments and conversations for the sheet using these toolbar buttons. You can establish relationships between cards in board view with hierarchy. To enable hierarchy, Navigate to the Hierarchy Display Toolbar button and select Nested Child Cards. Once enabled, Board View will respect hierarchy established in other views. You can also create new hierarchy relationships between your cards by creating subtasks. To create subtasks, click on the Tasks Card Context menu, then navigate to the Add Child Card option. Board view offers a ton of additional functionality to personalize your experience. For example, some teams need their cards to show more fields and additional details. You can select which fields should appear on your cards by navigating to the board view settings and selecting the fields you'd like to display. Some teams don't need that additional detail and prefer cards to display only the primary column. You can select Compact in the View Density Picker to make that happen. Some teams need to color code their cards based on status, due date, or assignee. Board View displays any taskbar colors you've manually added or conditionally formatted in other views. Let's go ahead and switch back over to Grid and walk through how to apply conditional formatting colors in Board View. First, we'll open the conditional formatting. And here you can see conditional formatting rules have been created that turn tasks gray if not started, yellow if in progress, blue if in review, red if blocked, and green if complete. For each rule, we want to ensure that the task bar color is set. 
A good rule of thumb here is that when you're setting up your conditional formatting rules, always carry whatever color you're setting through to the taskbar for consistency. Now let's go back to board view. You can see the colors from the conditional formatting rules are applied, making it easy to visually identify the status of each task. As your board fills up, filters can help organize your work. Create or apply filters by selecting them in the filter dropdown. If you want to see only tasks with a status of not started, navigate to the filter dropdown and select the not started filter. You can switch between filters or turn off applied filters using that same dropdown. Once you've configured a board that supports your team's needs, Share it to give everyone access to this flexible and engaging way to manage work in Smartsheet. To share your board, simply click the share button. Add the name of the person or group you'd like to share to. And then make sure to select board as the default view if you want board to be the view that your team sees first when they open the sheet. And click share. It's that easy. There you have it. You now understand the key features and functionalities of BoardView and have learned how to set up and customize BoardView in your sheets. Thank you so much for joining me today to explore BoardView. The demo you've seen is just the beginning. The Smartsheet team is actively working to add more functionality to make BoardView an even better communication and collaboration tool for your projects. Stay tuned for more enhancements in the coming months and cheers to a more agile and flexible future.